<laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome to Mad World. Glad to have you back and hope you're ready for your daily dose of entitled brats because I have a whole slew of crybabies for you today. So hang on to your seat because we're about to unleash a roller coaster ride of entitlement and drama that you don't want to miss. So, what do you say we get this thing started with a meathead having a meltdown over a cheesesteak? Grab my slip. I want a refund. We're going somewhere else. I want a refund. Let's go. I want a refund. Go ahead and give me a refund. You're getting out of here. I'm not. I'm not making a blessing. I want a refund. Just give me a refund. Whoa. You don't speak English. Give me a refund. I want a refund. Chill Grab out. The drinks, put them back. We're Chill out. Refund. Seriously. It's all screwed up. Just give me a refund. Back. Grow I up. Money back. I want my money back. Money back. I want okay, money I, I, back. I, 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 money I, I, back! I, okay. Dude, you know I mean? chill out. Okay. I want my money back. Chill out. Okay. Okay, <laughs> For real. He obviously didn't get enough whoopings as a kid. Are you two? I hope they get security to take you out of here. Dude, chill out. Hope you're proud of yourself. Screw you. Hope you're proud. So let me get this straight. He was able to communicate with them to place a whole order for him and his wife. But as soon as they said no to one of his demands, all of a sudden they don't speak English. And he says he's not racist. Oh yeah, we believe you. And then to top it off, he runs off like a little kid who just got beat up on the playground about to go tattletale to his mama. How pathetic can you be? But anyways, moving on. From one fragile ego getting triggered over a bilingual to another. Check this one out. I guarantee you that 911 dispatcher is rolling their eyes right now. They're not speaking Spanish because they don't like you. They're speaking Spanish because they can. Although, after all this, yeah, they probably won't like you. And yeah, you probably are racist. I don't want the food, I want my money back. And they're not giving it back to me. <laughs> so are we running a sweatshop here or something that they're not allowed to talk while they work? <laughs> What's next? They're going to have to close their eyes when you walk in front of them? Uh, I'm not sure how this one ended, but it would make me happy if she never got her money back. Now, how about another one making up idiotic rules? What happened here, Alan? I didn't give you consent to report me. What happened? Look here. Yeah. Yeah, what are you look where you look where oh. you go with your head. Bro. I didn't I, give oh, them any personal. Well, I think something is wrong. You, you something is so, wrong. You have something is wrong. Where did I get Oscar? Why is You're wrong, my friend. What happened? <laughs> now wait just a damn minute. This face reveal caught me off guard because the math is not mathing. Does he know? And who's gonna tell him? Uh, there's got to be a glitch in the matrix or something. Yes. 
not normal. Don't don't record me. No. I said get... free speech. This is my free speech. No, no, no. You, my you need you. my permission to no, record you don't. yourself. No, you don't. I'm on public no, land. No, no, no. This is public land. Yeah. So you should stop harassing them. I'm not. Yeah. You're yeah. saying discriminatory yeah. language. Yeah. Why are you saying go back to your country? This is America. This country is for everyone. Yeah. That is extremely yeah. racist. Yeah. You are in New York City. I don't know where you're Thank from. You. This is a land for yeah. everyone. So you're you're just. Disgusting that language needs to leave. I didn't give any consent. You're on public property. This I is a public side street. You deserve no respect because you're you so disrespectful. I didn't give any personal consent. To you're victimizing me. all of us. Huh? I know. And that, you guys just you guys just saw him. Close your mouth. Close no. your mouth. No. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. No. <laughs> this dude is confused on so many levels. Crazy to think he thought people were gonna back him up after the guy touched him. And who the hell is he calling? His mom? <laughs> the audacity. But on a lighter note, I love when people stand up for others. <laughs> that lady is a real superhero. Now, how about another example of a hero showing up at just the nick of time? The cops are on the way. Where are my keys at? I don't know. You threw them. Where are my keys at? I don't know. Hmm, I would have been there with my foot on them keys. Aww, not so tough anymore, huh? That switch up was so quick when she saw that cop. Guess she's not gonna need those keys anymore. Uh, that cop showed up at just the perfect time. However, this next one will have you wondering why they're there in the first place. Check it out. Sub come out. It wasn't cut. Carried it back up there and asked him to cut it. She rudely said, once it comes out, you said, once it goes out, we don't cut it no more. Yeah. I said, make another one. And he's following me with a plastic knife, acting like he's going to cut it here on the table. And I said, make another one. And he says, well, I'm trying to make it right. This is a public commons, is it not? It's a private business. It's a private business under, running under public commons law. He really called the cops for this. I ordered a sub. I asked for it to be cut. On that picture, it shows right there, cutting four. All right. Now, whatever happened, Some none of none them. of this has to go down this way. Hot subs are not cut like cut the way. There's a picture of. Oh, but that's not for the hot. Okay, subs. the hot subs are cut in half. Okay. They're cut in so, half, right? I didn't see that it was a giant. But then so. she, she I, I said she's a rude. And he tells me to get out of his store. That's free speech, is it not? It's an opinion and it's free speech. All right, so if you want to store. trespass me, trespass me. Are you going to manage by a store? So if she wants you to leave, you have to leave. And I, I, want my sub, I want another I can, sub made. I'm going to refund you your money. Well, well refund money. me my money, that's fine. Can you imagine having to deal with this as a police officer? Uh, you can wait outside and do not step foot on my property. Do you property. have an ID on you, sir? Yeah, I do. Because I don't want to know my property. Your property. I, I love I that because I've already... I'm you're the manager. manager. You're the manager. Do you own it? No, she is rude. She's very rude. I have a Tennessee deal to run. And she's violating law and free speech in the Constitution. I understand it's a private business, but she can do what she wants. I want this paper so I can send it to her boss. One one nine zero six four six three five. Can you take this? Can you take this up and throw it away? Okay, give me just a few minutes for this to come back and I'm going to get the trespass papers and you do realize that you're not allowed back on the I don't want to be back on here. <laughs> wow. 
I still can't believe they got the cops involved in this ridiculous situation. This is the equivalent of a little kid throwing a tantrum because his mom forgot to cut the crust off his sandwich. Uh, hey, at least I hope the cops got a free sub for having to babysit. Only thing that helped me get through it was the Pink Floyd playing in the background. Now, how about another sandwich dilemma? Just want a regular chicken sandwich. But I can't do half of it with You don't have to. So you just want a chicken sandwich? Yes. All right. Do you want the onions and peppers in it? Yes. Please leave. I'm not making your sandwich. I'm refusing your service now. Please leave. Please leave. Ma'am. Uh, that awkward silence was everything. Her tone changed real quick. We're matching energies today. Ma'am? Why are you not making Please. a sandwich? Because you're, act you're acting like I'm stupid. So I am asking you to leave. I'm refusing your service now. I would appreciate it if you left my building. Call the police. Then. I will call the cops on you. Okay. I will do it. I'll wait here to, just to find no, out. You if can wait outside. Well, I'll wait you here. Can wait I'm asking you to leave my building because you're treating me like garbage. So I need you to leave, please. How did I treat you like garbage? Go on like that. I need you to leave. I'm just saying okay. <laughs> yeah, I agree. She was definitely talking down to her. you for this. For what? Been refusing service to me because I asked for a sandwich. You asked for something that I cannot make you and then when I, I said I know. said I wanted a chicken sandwich. I asked for a chicken sandwich. Yeah. I still keep please, asking for a chicken please, sandwich. I'm not making it. I thought that we've been through this. May you please exit my building. I'm waiting for the police. I haven't called them. Because I'm going to sue you, them. I'm gonna sue you for oh, mistreating okay. me. Okay. Yes, I am. Okay, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Good for her. I wouldn't have made it either. That second yes got me too. Hate to admit it, but she handled it way better than I would have. I loved how she managed to stay polite while not letting the customer disrespect her, because nobody deserves to be talked like that. I say she earned a raise. Now, if I could only see the look on the customer's face when that lawsuit gets thrown out, that would have made it complete. But moving on, how about we switch roles and show you an example of customers getting disrespected by employees. Check it out. Fine. Were you recording me before this? I was but I have witnesses. Did you record your son screaming while I was trying to I'm sure you guys are Yeah. Screaming? Yeah. He was not screaming. He was in the house. If you leave the building, if you don't leave right now, I will call the police. Call what? All right, I will. Go ahead. Jeez, what's up her ass? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. My kids got special needs too. I get it. And there was no need for it. We really just came to bring him to get your And I had just told him, please use your prayer voice then. It's like. Kids are going to be kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely no need for all that. It's a male in a white shirt, jeans, a female, about 5'2, wearing a kind of a bohemian blouse. 
and they had a little boy in a red shirt, red and shirt, and they refused to leave the building. The man was his family. Six foot. Six foot. Three hundred pounds. He's telling me that he's three hundred pounds. <sighs> Mama, I think that's what we asked him because the female into Hispanic. Oh, yeah. Wow, I still can't believe this actually happened. Again, no kid or family deserves to be treated that way. Only good thing to come out of this is that the community has really rallied around them and shown great support. They even went to go protest at the Popeyes where it happened. Uh, I bet she's second-guessing herself right about now, huh? Uh, well, guys, with that, we're going to conclude this episode of Mad World. So, feel free to leave your comments at the bottom. And thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, everyone.